guys, what's the tea? Since July has ended and August just started, I thought that today would be a good day to film a July favorites video. So if you want to see what I had loved and my most used products in July, then just keep watching. First, I'll start off with my skincare favorites for July. The first favorite being this Differin face wash, and this is the Differin cleanser, and it's the Daily Deep Skin Sensitive Formula with benzoyl peroxide. And this is my favorite face product right now. I use it twice a day, every day, and I swear this face wash changed my skin and I love it. I will continue to use it until it turns on me. Hopefully it won't, but as of right now and as of the last few months, this has been my favorite face cleanser. Next, I'll talk about this product right here. And this is the Fenty Skin Fat Water Toner Serum. I love it. I think the packaging is really cute. And I love how it's thicker than most toners that I use. I actually mentioned this product in my last haul video. So if you haven't seen that, go check it out. I'll link it down below. But I love this toner and I have sensitive skin. So I was a little bit nervous about trying this out. Um, but I did and it hasn't done anything crazy to my skin. And I just feel like my face is really clean after I use this. You know, cleansing is one thing, but I feel like toner always makes sure that your face is just immaculate. And lastly, I will mention this product. And this is the Vanity Planet. And this is their like facial cleansing brush. So I'll open it up. And this is what it looks like on the inside. So you have four different brush heads. And I think this one is for your body. Um, this largest one down here and I got it in the tan color and they also have a pink I believe and I love this brush I feel like my face is really clean when I use it and I also love that they had this new packaging I think I've bought this brush a couple times um, since I was in high school I always repurchase it but this newest version has little holes I don't know if you can see here and I think that's really hygienic and really nice because you can keep this closed but then the brush heads still get enough air so that everything can dry out properly after you use it. So I'll show all the heads. So here's one and it has really soft bristles and then here is another one and I think this is the softest one so this is for if you have really really sensitive skin and this one is more like silicone. It might be kind of hard to see, but it has little silicone bristles. And this one is for exfoliating specifically. And then lastly, this is the largest brush head. And I really like it. Um, I haven't actually used this on my body. I have used it on my face, but it's just like the one, the smaller one that's for your face. And here's the brush. I'll turn it on. So you can see it has two different speeds, um, a fast one and then a slower one. But I love this brush set. I think it's really good for travel, especially with this perfect traveling case. And I bring it with me when I go on vacation. And I just think it makes cleaning your face a much more enjoyable process and it also makes it very easy. Now on to perfume. There have been a lot of perfumes and body sprays that I have been loving, especially in the summer and in the month of July. So I have here two body sprays. The first one is from Bath & Body Works. They're both from Bath & Body Works actually. And this is called In The Stars and it's their Fine Fragrance Mist. And it smells really good to me. This smells like a party. It smells like a party in the 1920s. I don't know why. Um, it just smells like, I don't know. I've never had champagne, but I imagine that this smells exactly like champagne. It just gives that vibe, like a really nice Gatsby party. I know it sounds weird, but I would describe this perfume as smelling like a party um, from the Great Gatsby. Moving on, I have this other fine fragrance mist, and this is... From Bath and Body Works and it's the Midsummer Dream Spray. I really really like this spray and I actually have the matching lotion to go with it and as you can tell this thing is basically empty so I guess that goes to show how much I really love this scent and the product. 
But yes, this was actually recommended, I think it was maybe a year ago, I was watching a Daisy Marquez video and she said that this is the scent, that's her favorite scent from Bath & Body Works, so I wanted to try it out. And in the past when I've went, it's been sold out, but most recently when I went to Bath & Body Works, I was able to get my hands on it and I love it. Again, it's the Midsummer Dream Fine Fragrance Mist. It smells like a clean shower. Like if you are really into clean scents, the Midsummer Dream scent is perfect for you and I definitely recommend that you pick it up. Moving on to another body spray, I have here the Brazilian Cross Cherosa spray and it's in the scent Pistachio and Salted Caramel. And this is actually the spray that goes with the set. I mentioned it in my last haul video. I got a travel set from Sol de Janeiro um, and it goes with the mini Brazilian bum bum cream and the matching body wash. And I really love this spray. I think it smells like dessert. It's really sweet. It smells exactly like the body cream and the body cream can be expensive. The full size is about $45. So if you want to smell like the body cream, but you don't want to shell out the $45, you could get this. This comes in a set again with a mini body cream and a shower gel all for $25. So I think that's a really good deal and this smells really good. So I have two perfumes to talk about. The first one is Baccarat Rouge 540. And this is my favorite perfume of all time. And I will say it is also the most expensive perfume that I own. So here's a close up. I've had it since May and I still have quite a bit left, which is awesome, especially because this retails for $300 and it's only 2.4 ounces. So do the math, it's expensive, but I love it. And I also recently found out at Nordstrom, they have a smaller version of this. It's 1.1 ounces and it costs $180. So honestly, the larger perfume is a better deal, but if you don't want to spend $300 on a perfume, but you still want this perfume, you could go ahead and get this smaller version. And another perfume that I have from Sephora is the Vanilla Woods perfume. And here's what it looks like. I think the packaging is really cool and also very cute. And it smells like vanilla, literally but not a sweet vanilla. Like it's more of a warm scent and let's see if I have any information. It says it's made with organic fair trade vanilla and essential oil from Madagascar. So I really like this perfume. It was actually given to me by my mom. She had bought it from Sephora, but she didn't like it on her. Um, and I will note that I have seen mixed reviews on Sephora about this perfume, but personally, I love it. I love how vanilla smells and I think that this perfume is really nice. And it's something that's very casual, which I like because, you know, if I'm sitting around the house, I'm not going to spray a $300 perfume, but this one I believe was 35 and it is a rollerball. So I definitely wear this one if I don't have any plans or if I'm doing something very casual. Now I'll move on to my hair care favorites. It is the 24 hour edge tamer and it's, I got the family size. So this is the largest size they have. And it's the green color in ultra super hold. And this is from Ebon, New York. If you are someone who gets their hair braided a lot or wears their natural hair a lot, I definitely recommend this. I use this for my edges. I use it for any time I need to smooth down my hair. I won't even bother showing you what it looks like on the inside because it's basically empty, but I will take some out and show you actually. I'll do that. So if you see on my wrist, here I have it. It's very thick and it's very sticky, but it's really, really nice and it because it's so thick and sticky, it has a good hold. I have it on my edges today and even if I go back and forth, notice how they're not moving. They will stay. I love wearing this edge cream when I'm on vacation because especially if I'm going somewhere tropical where it's humid, the last thing I want is for my edges to be flying away and going crazy. So this, if you just put this on, it really is 24 hour hold. Sometimes I'll go to sleep and wake up and my edges will still be done and I won't have to do anything. So 
10 out of 10 would recommend i've tried eco styles it's never worked it always gets white always gets gross always gets flaky this one does not and i will use it as long as they keep making it now i'll move on to some beauty favorites the first one i have here is the best skin ever foundation from sephora i love this foundation it's the only foundation i use it's probably the only foundation i will ever use because i don't like to try new things but I went out on a limb, tried this because the price was great and I heard good things about it and I'll never turn back. I used to only wear concealer. Now I feel like I don't even need concealer except under my eyes. If you wear this, it's, is it even full coverage? You know what? I don't know. I don't think it's full coverage, but it's definitely medium, I would say. And I'm in the shade 50 neutral and i think it was maybe 35 maybe 40 dollars but either way that's a really good price for a foundation and as you can see look this is, some is missing at the top and i haven't had this for that long so anytime i'm wearing my makeup i have this on no question about it i love this foundation and i won't be switching it up anytime soon another makeup favorite i have is from too faced and it is one of their highlights in the shade Canary Diamond. So I'll open it up. And here's what it looks like. So I'll open it up. And here's what it looks like. As you can see it's kind of shining. Very nice color. And I love how it has this little case. I think this is like really cute packaging. But I'll swatch it for you guys. So here's what it looks like on my finger. And then it's very subtle, I'm not gonna lie. It's very subtle. But if you can see it, it's just a slight pink shimmer. And I have it on right now, but again, it's super subtle, which I like, because I like that the shade is similar. It's pink, right? But it's similar to my skin tone in that when I put it on, it's not like a white cast. Because I find that a lot of times with highlighters, um, whenever I would wear them, it just didn't look blended and it would just be like very visible and that doesn't look natural. And I noticed that a lot of people are like shying away from highlight now too. And I was, I had stopped wearing highlight for a long time, but then my uncle gave me this highlight and I think it's perfect. I think it's light. I think it's pretty and I think you can't go wrong. It's a pink shade. It's like a rose gold with pink reflex. So I think it goes really nice with a nice blush and anytime I'm doing something or just trying to be extra cute, I'll pop this on and I put it on my nose too. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I just think it gives you a nice glow. I have two book favorites, which is new for me because I find a lot of times I don't have time to pleasure read, but I have been reading this book and it's a number one New York Times bestseller and it's called The Silent Patient. And it's by Alex Michaelides. I hope I said that right. But I really like this book. It's like a thriller. And I think it's really interesting. And it's kind of like a crime mystery type book. And all I watch is crime shows like Law & Order SVU, Chicago PD, you name it, I've watched it. So my friend Rachel recommended this book to me and I love it. I haven't finished it, but I'm working on it. And I'm really excited to find out how this book ends. And I also have another book here. And this is called Midnight Sun by surprise, surprise, Stephanie Meyer. And I'll say she's my favorite author of all time. I've read every Twilight book, maybe four times um, in high school. Those were my favorite books. Maybe it was middle school. It was either middle or high school, whenever it was popular. But I read the Twilight Saga and now she has this book, Midnight Sun. It's not super new. I think it came out like maybe eight months ago. But this is basically Twilight written from Edward's perspective. So it's not really a new storyline, but I think it's cool that it's a new perspective and you learn about things that you didn't know in the first Twilight book. And I'm desperately hoping that she does this with all of the other Twilight books. So if you were a Twilight fan in your teen years, like I was, I would definitely go out and get this book. I found out about it on Instagram. So I don't know how widely it was publicized. Maybe it was, but... Um, I found out about it on the Twilight Instagram page and this book is awesome. I forgot to mention about that book also. My mom read it and she's in her 50s so I feel like it appeals definitely to all age ranges whether you're 
35, 25, 16, whatever. I think that anyone could get something out of that book if they're into the Twilight storyline. If you didn't like the first Twilight, I wouldn't go out and get this. But if you did, I would. Okay, just a few more favorites left. I wanted to mention my favorite handbags and I have them right here. Believe it or not, these are both the same bag. So I'll show you the black one first. And this is from Peta and Jane. And I showed this in hauls in the past, like a while ago. But this is the Paloma bag from Peta and Jane. And I love it. This one is in black nylon. And it also has a shoulder strap. But I like that you can wear it two different ways, either with the chain, with just the shoulder strap, or with the chain and the shoulder strap. So this bag reminds me of the Prada crossbody that everyone was obsessed with. And I like this because it's definitely a dupe and it's a lot cheaper. So this bag is $45 and it basically looks exactly like the Prada bag other than the logo. But I really think that the Pita and Jane logo is very cute. I have probably six, six bags from them. Yeah, I have six Pita and Jane bags and I just think that for the price, the quality is really amazing. So I'll show you another version of this bag. And this is also called the Pelomo bag, but this is in more of a pebbled tan leather. And instead of silver details, it has gold details, but this has the strap on it. So I like that you can wear it two ways, as I said. And I just think that these bags are really cute and they're perfect for, you know, just leaving the house, running errands, everyday wear and I love these bags and these bags, depending on what I'm wearing, I'll either grab this one or the black one. And they're the ones that I grab most whenever I'm leaving the house. So I just wanted to mention these. And I have two clothing favorites to show you. So these are the Samaria Leah jeans right here. This is the important part, the back detailing. And of course, I'll include a picture of me wearing them right there. I love these jeans. I love the distressing on them. I love that they are custom to my height, so I didn't have to go get them hemmed. And I got mine, so I'm I'm gonna give you my size info because I've heard a lot of issues that people have with trying to get their correct size from Samaria Leah. And honestly, I'm not even sure if the sizing is consistent, but in these jeans, I got a size 26 and they fit perfectly now. Um, and I'm normally a size four. So I'd say, assuming that their sizing is consistent, which again, I cannot say that it is, I'm not sure. If you're about a size four in jeans, then I would recommend getting Samaria Leah jeans, at least this style in a size 26. But I love these jeans and I find that they're the jeans that I always gravitate towards in my closet because they're very comfortable and they're also a little baggier. And you know, some days you, don't, you just don't wanna put on tight jeans, especially if you're gonna go eat. So I love those jeans. I love that they're looser and I just think that I could wear them all day and feel just as comfortable as if I was wearing some leggings. And now I'll talk about my favorite pair of sweatpants. I have them right here. And these are from Aloe Yoga and I actually got it in a set. So it came with the sweatpants and a matching sweatshirt. But the sweatpants are what I always wear. And anytime I'm lounging in the house, I always have these on. And I will say they might be a little bit expensive. I'm not sure of the exact price off the top of my head, but I do know that the sweatpants and the sweatshirt together cost $220. So they're expensive, I'll say that, but the quality is really, really nice and they're really thick and I love them. I think they're great. And if you're looking for a nice pair of sweatpants, I definitely recommend any of the sweatpants that Aloe Yoga has. These specifically, I'll link everything that I mentioned down below. I do have another pair of sweatpants from Aloe Yoga that I've mentioned in previous hauls, and they were nice, but they weren't as thick. So if you really want a thick pair, I would go with this. And again, I will link them and provide the exact name in the description. So check that out if you want any more details on any items that I've talked about today. And lastly, I want to mention my favorite jacket and I'll put it on. I talked about this jacket in my last haul video. It was from Maritzia and they were having a huge sale. I don't even remember if I got the jacket on sale now that I'm thinking about it, but I think it couldn't have been more than $40. Um, yeah, I think it was right around $40. And I love the material. It's like this waffling, this waffled knit material. I think it's very comfortable, very lightweight, because I still, I was looking for a jacket that I could wear in the summer that 
wasn't a pullover because I feel like everything that I own is like pullovers, hoodies, sweatshirts, and I just wanted a zip up that I could easily take on and off. Um, but I really love this jacket. I think it's very comfortable and it's cute. I wore this on the airplane when I went to Miami and I just love comfortable jackets like this, especially because I work from home and you know, I'm not about to go throw on some, like a jean jacket in the house. I think that would be super weird. So I love jackets like this and honestly, I kind of want it in another color, maybe white or black, but yes. That ends this favorite video. Those are all of the items and products that I've been loving in the month of July. I'll be sure to link everything in the description. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will hopefully see you in my next video.